All right, we're back. Video number three. Welcome. It's Terry and Aubrey. Feeling loose after doing video one and two. If you're doing them in the progression, that means you're progressing. That means you've done one and two, then three is going to feel great. So you get all done with all of these, you're right around an hour's worth of lower back mobility work. And that's saying something for you. So good job. Today, we are starting with split squats and not in the rep form, but in the restorative form. So Aubrey, can you get your foot up here back on the ladder and go up here on this towel? Let's get your knee closer. Keep coming back with that right, or there you go, left knee. Oh yeah. So mm -hmm. you get, is that towel helping your foot? Yep. Okay, good. So what we're looking for here is all the things that Aubrey's already doing. So that left knee is as close to the ladder. You can use your couch, you can use the wall, you can use a chair, workout bench. I can go on and on. This knee is a 90 degree angle, and that's where we want. She's also on train tracks, which is what we like to say is she's, on, she's wide as the hips with the legs, and she's not on a train track, which means she's not one foot behind the other, because that's gonna make you fall down. Yeah? Yes. So she's already feeling a stretch in that left hip. Right? So we're going to use this yoga block that is weighs nothing, obviously. <laughs> and we're going to use it to do a couple of exercises that keep you in this pose. And that's the primary goal of this split squat, okay? So grab this guy, and you're going to keep it in your left hand, and you're going to do a fake shoulder press. When you go up with that shoulder press, you're going to go over also, and then back down. So all this is doing is increasing that length right here. And you feel that, right? Mm -hmm. So now let's match it with the breath. Exhale as you go up, blow out that air, inhale down. She's got three, we're gonna go for seven more. So 10 on each side. If this is bothering your knee, you can put something underneath it, or you can, uh, you can give your knee some grace and pull it out a little bit. But you gotta trust me, it, that pain will eventually go away. If you've had surgery and pressure is an issue, then put a pillow down there. Uh, it, that will eventually help also. Breathing it out. It's feeling good. Good? So now we're going to hold the yoga block like a weight. And we're going to take it and you're going to ex extend it out. And then you're going to twist this way. And then pull it back. Pull it in. So inhale. Exhale. Twist. Very good. We're going to go for eight more now of these. So ten reps of each thing. And remember that yep, the goal is to keep you in the, in the pose. Uh, and active in the pose as long as we can. So you feel a little bit, you feel that recoil? Mm -hmm. That's often because of tension. And the tension in your body acts like a rubber band. And then it'll wind you up and slide you right back. So control that tension. I'm glad you're counting. Because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Very good. So if it felt good and you're in this position, it's a good idea, especially if it took you a while to get here. Do another set. We're going to move on for the sake of the video. So, so we're going to switch sides. So come down your hands and knees, and then switch legs. It's a little easier to get into when you. I know. This way. A bit. Oh, you picked the hard way. But I you did, did it. You did it. I did. All right. Same thing on this side. Now that you're here, don't feel a rush. Uh, some of you might be here, and this will be the first time you've ever done this and this feels like it's on fire, and then put your hands on the floor and just rest for a moment. You wanna take your time coming up. You don't have to push that, all right? We're moving quicker, but it's for you, it's for the sake of the video. So she's pressing up and leaning over slightly. She's matching her breath, exhaling as she leans. I'm trying to lean for her, I don't know why. Lengthening, taking away the compression from the hip flexor, but also from the adductor in this one. So you're using the hip to space out and unlock, which is creating space in your oblique, which is relieving your lower lumbar. And you know, there's a lot of things. Those hips float, and if you can get the one to drop a little, you're taking pressure off the lumbar that's holding it, probably holding it up. Uh, not necessarily the lumbar, but the stabilizers. Now we're twisting. Press out and twist away. When we advance this in the future, you've uh, 
you'll see us doing this with weight, uh, with resistance bands. We can really build on this exercise and it will, it, it becomes a part of your regular fitness routine. You add the medicine to the routine and everything works just fine. Almost there. Right, take the yoga block, it's so heavy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have Aubrey come up. And if you have, a, I hope you have a way to do this at home, but we're gonna use the pull up bar and she's just gonna do a dead hang. Uh, a dead hang, you can do the ladder, you can do the bar up top. And the idea with the hang is to increase, look at that catch, get that guy out of the way, uh, is to really relax in the shoulder. So deep breath in, make your body as heavy as possible. Do it again. And this is a test on the grip. So when you don't feel like you have it anymore, step down. That's your that's your step down if you want it. There you go. Oh, <laughs> good job. Did I feel all right? I feel like you could have stayed up there for another 15 I know, minutes. I know, I really <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Okay, so the dead hang is really a timed thing. It's up to you. You want to build up on it as you go forward. All right, so we're in a good spot. We're in standing toe touches. So all you're going to do here is inhale with your arms. Exhale and hinge at the waist. Reach for the feet. Try to keep the legs straight. And you're going to do this for 10 breaths. Inhale up. Exhale, tuck the belly button in. Round that back. So nice and round. Yep. I can't touch my toes. You can use your yoga block or a rolled up towel. You can shoot for that for now. You want to take your time with this. Touching your toes for a lot of us out there, are, me included, it took me a while to be able to do it, uh, is a progression. So give yourself some grace. We all can't be as limber as Aubrey. <laughs> right to our toes. <laughs> all right. Straddle walkouts are next, and that straddle is just going nice and wide for me. So what you're going to do is you're going to inhale up, exhale, touch the mat. And once you get to the mat, you're going to walk your fingers out into a straddle-like plank. So you're going to go all the way out so you can drop your hips like a plank. Yep, and then you're going to walk right back. Uh, we're going to want to, when you do it, you can stop right there if you want, or you can come all the way back up. So for the sake of the video, we're going to do the short version. So we're going to walk out and keep the arms straight. There you go. Into that plank and walk back. Any version of the plank you want to do here, you can. You can even go way down to your forearms if you want to increase the work on the core, okay? This is one of the most accessible hamstring stretches out there. She's getting further and further. Where are you going? She's going to crawl out the door. Uh, so <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> This uh, releases those adductors, and oftentimes the best way to get the hamstrings to release is to get the adductors to release, and those are the muscles that run right inside the leg, okay? Adductor muscle complex. We're going to keep going here. We can throw in a push-up if you're feeling real good. Oh, man, look at her go. <laughs> That's good work. Just going to do a couple more. This will be our last one. And then go ahead and rest. So drop your knees down for me. We like to rest in child's pose, so I'll have her do a child's pose. Toes together. Just going to rest here for a second. We're not done. We're just going to rest for a minute. Catching that breath. Okay. So let's go up into tabletop. And we're going to move into a low lunge, which looks just like this. So Aubrey, join me here. There you go. So this is similar to your uh, to your split squat, but it's a lot less stress on that uh, on that quad, right? It doesn't feel doesn't feel terrible. No. So here, put your hands, both hands, right here for me. And we're going to inhale, and we're going to exhale and extend this right arm to the ceiling. Watch it with your hand. Yep, and then back down. So we're going to do ten of these. Yep, 
This, remember this one from video one, except you were laying on your back doing it. This one is a little bit more advanced. Uh, and after the other exercises in this, uh, in this video, you can do this one. In most cases, when you have acute back pain, you shouldn't start here. You'll feel that uh, tension in your back, and it could cause you pain, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can switch. Switching sides, exhaling up. Same idea as the other videos. We did, the, uh, we did work from the lower part of the spine towards the head of the body. And now we're doing a little bit of work from the top of the body, the head, and we're working our way down the spine. All in efforts to gain mobility in the spine, gain flexion, and a little bit of pain freedom, okay? So we're going to end in a restorative pose of pigeon. So do you know pigeon? This is, this is an advanced pigeon, but I like it. Sorry. No, I like it. Stay here. If you well, can, if, this is regular pigeon. If you can do this this way, then do it. Uh, if you want to modify it by taking this leg and laying it flat on the ground. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so this is the other way to do it. And then walk yourself down. You can even walk your hands flat out. So. I bet you don't feel this one as much as you did the other one, correct? Correct. Yeah, so this is, it just depends on your hip mobility. So there's good, better, best. Uh, beginner, this is where, even beginner, this might be tough. Uh, so you need to take this and listen to your body when you do it, okay? So let's go back out to that intermediate one again like you did. So show everybody this one, the one you started with, yep. Put that foot back out where you had it. Right here. So that's where you started, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then you go a little more advanced. You drop down your forearms right here. Yeah. She likes that one better. Yeah. This is what you actually feel. Mm -hmm. This is where you feel the stretch. So, okay. Now we're going to repeat process on the other side. So take your time, switching out. You might feel a whole kind of all kinds of different little things. Start there first, then we'll work our way back out. So adding in there an element that I didn't think about, that's why she's here. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> it's very good. So uh, you've heard us say it before, stretching you know, after a workout in this position is 30 seconds. Uh, if you want to make it more restorative, you push more towards two minutes, okay? We're not gonna do that. For the sake of the video, show them uh, your advanced one again. Very good. And if you're feeling good, like I said last time in the other video, if you're feeling good and you, uh, that may not really help a lot, then repeat this video. Uh, if you're feeling still a little twingy and you've done one video or video one and two and you just finished video three, then you're good. Just stop. Uh, take a day off. Enjoy doing nothing for a day and then come back and try it again. Okay. Very good. All right. We will see you on the next video.